Hey guys, so some of you already know that I don't drink a lot of caffeinated drinks because I can't drink caffeine. And so because of that, I also don't give the kids many caffeinated drinks. So I was thinking about creative ways that I like to do specialty drinks during the holidays and just for like, just every now and then, just a little mommy time. So today I'm gonna to share with you four ways to make specialty drinks caffeine free. So first I'm going to show you something very simple. I already added the water to the coffee pot and then the next thing I did was I added two tablespoons of decaf coffee in with the filter. And then all the thing you have to do after that is add a little bit of pumpkin spice seasoning in there. Just enough to like, you know, just a little bit of coating on there. And then you just run the coffee pot like normal, but instead of having to separate out the pumpkin spice grounds or any of that, it's already in there with the grounds. It doesn't mess the coffee pot up because it, it treats it just like grounds. So then all you do is run the coffee pot and then you have a specialty pumpkin spice coffee. The second drink I'm going to show you is basically just a glamorized hot chocolate. My husband and I both prefer for a milk base for a hot chocolate. So you're going to take your mug and then you're going to fill it about three-fourths of the way full with milk and then we usually put it in the microwave for about two minutes. Next thing you do is just add your hot chocolate. We use the kind that you get in a bulk container, so we add about two tablespoons to it. Then you're going to stir that up. Once all of the hot chocolate has been dissolved in the cup, then you're going to take an eighth of a cup of creamer and mix it in with it. This is basically another form of doing like a coffee mix without using coffee or decaf coffee. Now I know that hot chocolate does contain some caffeine, but even people like me who can't have caffeine, the little bit of caffeine that's in hot chocolate doesn't really bother me. And it still makes an excellent warm drink for a cold day. The third drink I'm going to show you is like a chocolate milk, but instead of using chocolate syrup, we're going to use something else. You take your glass and you fill it three-fourths of the way full with milk like you did with the hot chocolate. But this time, all you're going to do is just add the creamer straight into it. What we, the way this is special is because this allows the kids to be able to try the specialty holiday creamers, and that way they can have some of the flavor too, like peppermint mocha or candy cane or flavors like that. And they mix it up, and then they have a specialty cold drink with all the flavor that the adults get in their coffee, but without the caffeine. The fourth drink is also going to be using the coffee pot. As you can see, I've got two tea bags in there. The tea that I have in there is a mandarin orange spice, which is a caffeine-free tea. It has kind of like an oriental flavor to it, but this time of year, I like to add pumpkin spice to everything. And again, I don't like to have the granules in it after I add the pumpkin spice to it. So what I do is I add the tea bags into the coffee pot, sprinkle just a little bit of the pumpkin spice over top of it, because it already has spice anyways too. Then I'm going to take the filter and put it back on. And then I'm going to run the coffee pot back through again. And this time it's going to make tea. So that's the four specialty drinks that we have for our family. If you like the recipes that we do and like the videos and tips and tricks that we're doing for food for the November December then give that video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.